Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Imperial Conveyx Transport LEGO Star Wars set from the summer of 2018. This just came out in or on August 1st. Uh, pretty excited for this set, although it is very expensive, has a uh, low amount of pieces for how expensive it is. Although I do think it has some value um, in the figures and the set itself is fairly cool. So I'll kind of let you make the judgment as we go along this video if you think it's worth $90 or not. I personally think uh, I, I was okay with spending $90 on it just because I did enjoy building it and it's just kind of a fun set. But the minifigures are the main draw to this set. The minifigures are fantastic. This is kind of in the same boat as Krennic Shuttle from uh, Rogue One. Whereas you get five really good figures, and the build of the Krennic shuttle, I will admit, is very good and far superior to this one. But it's kind of that same, it's the same price range and same minifigure selection. You got two of the Death Troopers in that one, which I kind of like to make the comparison, although Krennic shuttle is a very superior set to this one, although this one is still a lot of fun. So let's take a look at the best figures, possibly, of the summer. Here we have the Range Troopers. You get two of them in this set, and we're just trying to focus in on them. And they won't stay focused. So you get two of these guys in the set. They're really nice. Um, you can see all the printing on them here. Why is it focused? Okay, here we go. But just wonderful printing, detailing on them. Backside there. And then they do have white blasters. You take a look at the helmets just for a little bit. That just looks great. And then they do have the clone face and the fur printing on them. So you get two of these guys in the set. Really fantastic minifigures and just makes the set that much better. Next figure we got, which I'm trying to hold in place, is the uh, gunner slash conductor. Really good minifigure, actually, for just a gunner. He has that face. Death Star Trooper helmet, which is fine. Has the same, uh, like, fur piece as the Range Troopers, but in black. Next figure is Chewbacca with goggles, and I'm dropping all of them. Chew goggles, I guess you could say. Uh, but he's exclusive. All these guys are exclusive. Um, really funny looking, but just kind of a fun minifigure. I'm sure people will have a lot of fun making fun of how he looks, but it's accurate to scene, I guess. And he has that blaster, which is also kind of looks like the one he used in the movie. So that's a really nice figure. And the last figure, also a fantastic figure here, is Han Solo in his train heist outfit. Just looks great. Um, has the fur coat that he used and the clip that he used to hang on to the train. Has his gloves, his DL-44. It's not technically a DL-44, but nice printing on the back, and he does have a reverse face, kind of just a little more stern than his smirking one. So yeah, five great minifigures on this set, and now we can just take a look at the train itself. So it's kind of too long to fit in frame here, so we're going to take... I cannot speak, I'm sorry guys. We're going to take a look at each... Uh, part of it individually, so we'll start with the front end of it, which is really really cool actually. The sh they got the shaping down really nice from the the in universe uh, train. You do have all the treads in here, and you can lift this up. Uh, nothing really useful in there, but you can lift that up. You can open this side where they do have a little clip right in here, which you can put. A range troopers blaster which kind of takes forever so I'm not gonna do it but trust me there's a little clip in there you can open up both sides of that as well and then also you can open up these each of these sides which have an identical cockpit in there which you can put in my case I'm gonna put the gunner in there or the conductor as I like to call him train conductor so you can put him in there and put another person on the other side, although it doesn't... I wish they gave you two of the conductors. That would have been really cool, but uh, you can put one on either side. And this thing has wheels all over the thing. You can see this thing turning here. It has rubber wheels 
like right here I actually catch the treads there's one right here and there's also one like up top in here but they catch the treads super nicely and this thing will roll almost any surface like this is not even carpet and it's rolling really well and it's just a fun thing to have and that's the connection on the back as well so that's the front car I'm gonna move on to the second car here so the second car has th these two large stickers on e each side this thing is also on rubber wheels um, and it does have this turret on top which isn't accurate to the movie but that's why the gunner is here uh, kind of a cool little build but you can just take it off and put it on the side um, also with this turret you can stick it on the front part as well just on there so that works out really well but I'm gonna take it off for now because it's not accurate to the movie so you can just take it off and have it on the side so uh, yeah you can open up these doors and you can each open up each side here and the interior space is actually kind of cool you get four of these boxes which each have coaxium in it and then there is ladders going up to the top one second sorry about that <laughs> had to close my door so there's two um or there's four coaxium containers and then a ladder that's going to go up to the top and a hatch and then it connects together really really well you just take this part and put it on the rod there and you have it all connected i almost actually forgot so you have these openings here and a sticker there that um when these are open the other set the AT hauler can come in and grab it like this and pick it up and take it away so if you do end up getting both of those sets that works really well together which i don't have the AT hauler yet but i'll make a video when i do get it and yeah there's the hatch and you can actually just stick a minifigure right in there kind of poking out there's a little platform that they can stand on so yeah i really do think this set is better than i it was expecting um it's kind of nice looking the minifigures are fantastic uh, lay them out there um but i don't think this is the best value for 90 dollars. i think you should wait for a sale in my opinion but if you can get it for anything around 70 dollars i think that's a great deal but uh yeah definitely if you compare this to like the rogue one krennic shuttle this the Ro i can't i'm sorry you guys i'm speech impediment i'm not talking normally but um the krennic shuttle is a lot better value just because it's similar like the 90 dollar price point the figures uh like three evil guys and two cool good guys but i don't know i'm just doing that comparison but yeah i, I do think if you buy it for 90 dollars, you're not going to be super disappointed um because it's just a fun set in general but yeah if you guys like this review definitely leave a thumbs up and comment which summer set you want me to review next i'll take you off my stand here i do have the swoop bikes if you guys wanted me to see me review that i can do that uh, just leave a comment down below and i can also pick up the x-wing or the throne room soon uh, the x-wing is out of stock at all my targets but i can get the throne room so leave a comment if you want me to review any of those and subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more epic reviews.